Hi everyone and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Yay, I'm back. I'm, I'm back part-time. Uh, I want to get, this week, I want to get my Marguerite Miller um, weekly challenge done, which that we will be doing right now. And I've been able to call many, many weeks um, of the Marguerite Miller as I've been laid up going through my Daphne's diary. So we will be working on that today. And then the rest of the week, I'm going to try to schedule, I'm going to start my Rolodex card, um, small mini collages. I think that will be fun. And then I already have some items pulled for my um, crossword puzzle collage on Thursday. And I think I'm going to use this gale right here. I hope she works. Uh, I have had a tune in my head for the last four or five days. I can't, it won't go away. I'm not going to tell you what it is because it'll ruin the crossword challenge, but it is a famous, famous song. It's one of my favorite songs. I absolutely love it and I play it often, uh, but I don't know, for some reason it has been stuck in my head and I'm going to try to do a collage around that. So I want to thank all of my subscribers for sitting around my craft table today. And as many of you know, I started a, a Patreon. So I'm going to have some scrolling credits today um, for the gals that have signed up. That's one of the bonuses where they support my Patreon. I I do a little scrolling thank you to them. Um, I'm going to try to do it not sure if it's going to be in the middle of the video, towards the end of the video, but I want to recognize them as well. And I'm just really, really glad. I'm so happy to be sitting here and to be able to chat with you all. It's It's been a long time. I'm still not out of the woods. I still have two more weeks where I have to sit around with my foot up. Um, but I do have a walking shoe on, which really isn't much of a walking shoe. And um, I still have restrictions. I can sleep with the shoe off. I have a splint on my foot. I still have to keep that on for the next two weeks. I cannot take that off only to shower. I can get my foot wet in the shower, but I can't stand in shower. I still have to sit. No weight really is to be put on my foot. And I really should be walking with a crutch. She said I didn't have to, but this boot is so, the shoe is so stiff and rigid that um, I just don't want to take any chances. I'm almost there, but I am able to, as you can see, get up the stairs and uh, get back in my room, but I can only be in here, have my foot down for an hour, hour and a half. So I have to do what I need to do and get out of here and get back um, with my foot up. So I'm just really, I'm just so excited to be here. You have no idea. So, um, with all that being said, I have my images cut. I'm going to go over week six with you. I just have to find my little page that I adhere all of this to. And I guess I could take one from another. Um, yeah, because I don't know what I did with it. So, I'm going to take this one, and we will be working on this right here. So um, again, I'm working with the Daphne Diaries uh, or Daphne's Diary um, books. And this week um, for the six, it's an object hung on a wall, a piece of ribbon, transportation, something sharp, a photo of your family or a family member. I'm going to extend my foot because my foot is feeling funky. And bonuses of form, all right? Now, <clears throat> these are left up to our interpretation. A form could be a, a paper form, something you would fill out for a survey, something that you could fill out at the doctor's office. My form is a sewing form that you make a dress on. So that's just where my mind goes because of sewing and the, the vintage sewing patterns and things like that. So in a ribbon, I'm not using a real ribbon. I found this ribbon on one of the Daphne Diary uh, images 
in, in the book, so I cut that out. These are all from Daphne's diary this week. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is my something that could be hung on a wall. And again, let me turn this little light off. Again, this uh, here is, you know, would you like to make something unique for your wall? You can create your own decoration with leaf silhouettes in just a couple of easy steps. Though so this was a DIY on bringing ferns in from the outdoors and creating something on a canvas and then using birch bark to adhere, you know, the, the canvas, and then you could hang it on your wall. So that is what I am using this week. And I think I'm going to, I really don't want this in the picture, but I may get, I may end up getting a little bit of it. So in order for me to figure out how I want, I think I'm going to have to cut this out I'm definitely going to have to center this, all right, just for the fact that I'm going to adjust my, I think I'm okay like that. I think everybody can see. So I'm going to make a little mark. Oh, I feel like I've, I have been away a long time, and it's, it's funny when you come back to something, it's like learning a new job. All right, so I think I'm going to, I think I will, cut this here and I think I will cut this just on this side here. I think that will be okay. And I hope everybody is, you are doing really well and I hope you have, everybody has a great week. I'm still chatting it up with everyone through your comments and your emails, which are really nice. And it just really gives me something to look forward to. Whoops, there we go. Someday that is going to fall over and I'm going to have to send it in for a new model again. They happened to me one other time. So, I could bring this down a little bit and maybe just kind of clip these corners here because I really do not want, I don't want that green. But I think I might bring it up a little bit as well. I think I'm going to tear it. Bring that up like that, and I don't want those words on there. And maybe what I will do is I will just clip the corners like you do on a tag. I even feel a little shaky. Isn't that funny? Could me could be my coffee too. Look at me shake this morning. All right, so that worked out. I'm going to put that like that. I would still like to take... That's all right. I'm going to leave that. It's all right. It's okay. All right, so we're going to get this down straight away, only for the fact that I have nothing else. Maybe I could do a little stamping over here. And if I do, I'll put that closer to the end. And I received, which I didn't bring up, but I received, because you know I'm always complaining about this glue, I received two new 
a glue stick and some liquid glue from a very special subscriber right when I first was laid up. That was my first little happy mail. And it's down in my room. I have so much downstairs that I have been working on that I have it all set up at my breakfast table where I've made a couple videos and I really have to get things cleaned up because we we haven't been able to sit there and have that's where we have our dinner and we've either been eating at the kitchen island or um, at the large dining room table and I, I feel bad because that's a real cozy little room and I've been being a piggy with all of my craft crafting supplies in there and magazines and um, so maybe what I'll do is I like this right here so I think what I'll do is I'm going to put this edge on here and I'm just going to cut it like this. So last night was, it was a good night because I was able to sleep without anything on my foot. But I have to be careful. It's, I have a toe splint on. And what the toe splint does is when she realigned my little pinky toe after the surgery, this toe splint obviously keeps my toe from uh, turning, keeps it straight. And I just have to keep that on at all times. Um, but last night, I felt like my toe was being choked. And I noticed that if I have, I had two pairs of socks on yesterday because the, they were thin. They were just like thin little pads. Uh, but my foot felt like it was being choked. So I don't know what time early morning I felt this. Um. Uh, I had to rip the socks off because, like I said, my foot felt like it was being strangled. But I can't complain. I, I saw the x-rays and everything, the bone in my, you know, where that side bunion was, the bone is so super straight now and my the the bone in my toe is really straight so the the doctor did a really really nice job so i there's no complaints there i've had no pain which is really good so all right so here is our backdrop and this is the something you can hang on a wall so <clears throat> i have this dress form so this is my form and i'm still not leaving a place I love how Mish over at Mish Crafty, she always leaves a spot to slide her, and I'm, I'm not used to that, so I think I might just put these all in the back of my book. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. So this is my dress form, and what I did was I took my X-Acto knife, and I cut around this uh, fern right here, and I'm going to tuck, this is going to get tucked right in here like that because I thought that would be kind of cute. I could could have done that side but I just thought the one side uh, was really good to to do that. And again nothing else is going to go down behind this so I'm going to adhere this. Get that down. And yesterday, after my doctor's appointment, uh, I asked my husband if we could swing by Barnes & Noble really, really quick because my doctor 
uh, is 30 minutes from where I live, and uh, it's basically in the same plaza that my doctor is in. Um, put that like that. And I wanted, like I said, I wanted to stop in and get the issue one of the Daphne's Diary see if they had it and lo and behold it wasn't there now I don't I asked the girl if they had it and you know she said of course if if we have it it's over in the women's section and I've got this boot on and I I asked her if she could just you know help me a little bit take a look sometimes they have it on an end cap well they didn't have it so I have to go back to the doctor's on February 15th, so I'm hoping that issue one has arrived at least by then. Um, I've seen a couple, I saw one gal do a flip through, and I think there's enough things in there that I would like to get it, you know, to cut out. Uh, now, I'm not going to cut these windows out, so the car is my transportation, something sharp. This was in the Christmas issue of Daphne's Diary, and it was obviously they took a sharp pencil and they notched it to make it look like a Christmas tree. So I thought that would be cute to put right on the top of the car because isn't that what most people do is they put their Christmas tree on top of their car to transport it home. And then the ribbon here will go up here on this right here and I'm I'm gonna put this right over where it's kind of hanging down like that I think that will be good so we can put that there now I thought about putting a little brad or something on there I may do that I don't know And I know the Daphne, the Daphne's diary, you know, it's, it's a UK publication, so it's always printed and it hits the newsstands first thing over there and we just don't get it. I don't feel we get it in a timely basis. I used, when I received an issue, I would do a flip through, but it's already done and shown and there's no, no need to do that. And I think it's Nina, I think her name is Nina Rabina that I watch when she, she does a lot with the Daphne's Diary. I'll, I'll try to remember to link her Uh, I think it's Nina Rubina. And she did a flip through. So I, I don't ever buy it unless I see a flip through and I think I can use it. Then what I do is I, I'll trot over to, down to Barnes and Noble and I take a look, I really take my time and I do a in-person flip through when I get to the bookstore and uh, because it's expensive here it's $17.95 for the book and I just think that's I think that's expensive for a magazine okay so here is my collage so far I'm not going to do much more I want to take a stamp and I thought putting a little saying right here would be nice I thought about maybe putting some washi tape on the side but I don't want to take away from this so I'm just going to leave this as it is so my little saying is and this is little uh, I have to get the book this is a Tracy Hay stamp and I picked these up at Hobby Lobby 
they were on clearance for $2.49. And I just thought they were really cute. So it says, wake up, smile, and tell yourself today is my day. So that's what all these little words say. And I thought, I thought maybe I might put it right up here off center from this. I could put it up here. I just have to decide. You know, I'm going to give you a little tip. When you're not sure where you want to put a stamped item, this is what I do. Because if I stamp something in the wrong spot, then it's like, oh dear, I've ruined it. So what I do is I will stamp it. All right, and that is tiny. See how tiny that lettering is? And then what I'm going to do is I'll cut this. And if you want to do this in dark ink, you can do it in a darker ink. I just didn't want to use black for this because it has such soft, muted colors, all right? So what I do is I'll stamp it. I put it on, cut it down. And then what I'll do is I will move this around, all right, and I'll see where it best fits. I originally thought of putting it here. I don't know if I really like it here because you have your pencil here, and I don't want it to compete with this horizontal line. I think maybe that might be the best bet. I don't really like it down there. It's too close to the bottom. I don't want to put it in here because it takes away from that. I think I will put it up here. And I'm just wondering. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is seeing that this is this pretty much the same color, I'm going to stamp. So that's the green. And I picked out this potter's clay. I'm going to see now which I like best. So this is the potter's clay here. So that would be the potter's clay. And then I picked out another green. And I'm only going with the green because we have two pinks and whatever. I may end up doing just that. I may end up going with a green even though I like that the potter's clay comes out really nice and bright, but we'll see. And maybe I'll find another. Maybe another uh, color as well. All right. All right, so here is this color, the green. And this is the Olive Grove. I don't know. I don't know. What do you all think? I know you're all yelling and... That one is just too light. That one is the bamboo leaves. That you can't see. So that is a no. I don't know. Maybe I should use that one because it just ties that together. Just wondering if this is just a little too... Too dark. Hmm. Not that it really matters, right? It's just a. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like the dark. And I think maybe I should just 
go with that because I think it's more pleasing to the eye and I think it carries it down. I mean, it's there, but it's not there. I, I want a subtle, I want it to be subtle. So I think that's going to be my best bet. So I'm going to use the potter's clay. All right. And I can just do it light. It doesn't have to be super, super dark either. Let me just make sure I get it upright. There we go. Okay, I think that's good. All right. So that, that was pretty simple this week, wasn't it? And I think it just has a nice... Uh, you know, simple, very calm and soothing feel to it. So that is it, my friends. That is what I have for you this week for the Daphne's Diary, week six. So we have the <clears throat> object hung on the wall, piece of ribbon, our transportation, something sharp. I chose not to go with the family. And then the bonus was a form. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm so happy to be back. I'm happy that you're around my craft table with me again. Um, obviously, if you liked this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I will see you in my next video. All right, everybody. Have a really great week, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.